Welcome to the Smart Amp How To Video Series. This video is Tour A Workspace. I have a workspace open. Let's take a tour of it so that you're familiar with its features. In the top left corner is the Smart Amp software logo. If you tap this, you go to your home page. Next to the logo is the name of the class you are working in, and if you tap this, you go to the class dashboard. Next to it is the name of the workspace you have open. If you tap this workspace name, you can use the drop-down menu to create a new workspace. You can rename this workspace. You can save a copy of this workspace. You can export it as a template if you want to use similar content for more than one class and you don't want to recreate all the content. You can tap Show Handouts if you've handed out copies of the workspace to see a list of the handouts. And the bottom two are options to quickly switch your students from View Only to Edit Access Mode in the workspace. Next to the class name, tap the Select arrow to select objects in the workspace. Tap the Pan tool to select a object or drag the workspace in different directions. Tap the Pen tool to select a pen or highlighter and select its color and select the thickness of the ink. Tap the Eraser tool and select the size of the eraser to erase ink content from your workspace. On the far right, tap the magnifying glass or the zoom tool to open the radar view. In the radar view, the blue box indicates the current viewing area and you can see the entire workspace area that you've added content to. At the bottom, tap Zoom to 1 to 1 to see the default zoom level. Tap Zoom In to zoom in on an area of the workspace. Tap Zoom Out to zoom out on an area of the workspace. Tap Zoom to Fit All to see the entire workspace. And if you're using a device that doesn't support touch gestures, you can pin the radar view. This keeps the radar view open so you can use it to easily navigate within the workspace. On the left-hand side of the workspace, we have tabs that provide access to different features. Tap Sharing to access all the sharing options. Tap Bookmarks to add a bookmark to a workspace. Once you select an object in your workspace and add a bookmark to it, during a class you can tap the bookmark you created to go to that area of the workspace quickly and easily. Tap Add Images to add an image to your workspace. You can tap Select Image to add an image saved to your own device or search the Smart Exchange or the web for images that you can add to your workspace. Tap Add Web Content. From here, you can add a website using the website's URL. When you add this, a thumbnail appears in your workspace with a button to open the website in a new window. Or you can search for and then add a YouTube video that appears as a thumbnail with a play button that opens a new window to view the video. Tap Add Text and double tap or drag a title or text into your workspace. Tap Shapes and Lines. You have a Shapes tab and a Lines tab. Double tap or drag any of the shapes or lines into your workspace. Tap Ask and Answer to add an assessment to your workspace. Use this type of assessment when you want to ask your class multiple questions. The results of these assessments are saved into reports. Tap Add Files. You can search for notebook files or PDF files that you have saved to your device and add them to your workspace. Tap Messaging to send messages to other class participants even if they haven't joined a class. Thanks for watching. Check out the other videos in this how-to video.